Hi, this is Bob Jacobs from Lipper. Welcome to another installment of the Meet the Manager video interview series. Today I'm joined by Nick Clay, who runs the Dreyfus Global Equity Income Fund. Nick's fund recently won a Lipper three-year performance award. Nick, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you for having me. Nick, I'd like to start off by learning a little bit more about your fund. If you mm -hmm. would, tell me about the strategy and the philosophy under, underlying the fund. So it's a global equity income fund. We invest in companies all over the world, and all of the companies that we invest in have a dividend yield, which is a premium to that of the world market, so that you know that the fund itself will have a premium yield to that of the world. Okay. If you could, enlighten me a little bit more about your investment process, how you go about selecting securities and so forth. So at Newton, we look at the world on a global basis, and we use global themes in order to offer some perspective on where we see the risks and the opportunity. It offers focus for us to find the companies that we feel we need to invest in, in order to avoid the risk but seize the opportunities within the portfolio. Okay. And please, if you would, shed some light on the differences and the benefits of global income investing relative to domestic income investing. Well, domestic income investing in the US is investing in a market which yields lower than most of the other major markets globally around the world. Therefore, if you look globally, you can get a higher yield. But also, because you're looking globally, you can get access to growth without having to sacrifice the yield that you're acquiring for the growth. So therefore, you can get the best of both worlds, a high yield, and still get the growth in the shares that you're investing in. Terrific. Thank you. And now, if you would, tell us a little bit about the culture and the structure of the investment team over at Newton, please. So at Newton, we're an active house. We pick our stocks. We actively select them in the portfolios. Um, at Newton, we have always, since we set the company up in 1978, looked at the world globally. And we have our career global analysts that go about picking the stocks, guided by those global themes. That is what they selects the menu of opportunity for the fund managers. And that's how we select the stocks that go into the portfolio. Drilling down on that a little bit more, tell us some of the advantages of investing in global dividend paying securities. So the key about global dividend investing is that what the dividend brings as a discipline to a company is about the capital allocation within a company and not misallocating that. Mm -hmm. By having a dividend and the cash flow that needs to be generated to pay that dividend, that imposes a discipline upon the management to allocate their capital prudently. Mm -hmm. It generally tends to be the case that companies that pay good dividends also generate good returns going forward and can therefore generate successful growth in their company over the long term. Nick, please tell me, in the most simplistic of terms, why should people invest in your fund? Well, it's actively managed. It can invest on a global basis, and therefore it can generate a premium income without actually having to sacrifice on any of the growth that we can find in companies. Mm -hmm. So you get a premium income with companies that can grow that are actively managed so we can avoid risk. Given there's been quite a bit of interest in income investing of late, tell us where you're seeing opportunities now. Well, actually, it's North America which of all the countries around the globe at the moment which are facing great challenges and having to make big global and internal changes to the balance of their economy, America is further down the road of making some of those changes. So we're finding some quite good opportunities in America at the moment in order to pick up on the renaissance mm -hmm. that's coming on in America. However, there are opportunities for value in Northern Europe at the moment, and still some opportunities for the consumer in the Asian areas. But there's still plenty of risk in Europe and plenty of risk to be found in China. So we're making sure we're avoiding those areas and focusing on those areas of opportunity like North America and the value in Europe. Those are some great insights, Nick. And I want to thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me. And thank you all as well for joining us today for yet another installment of our Lipper Meet the Manager interview series.